Hello, me handsome. So today we are doing another cauliflower recipe. This is using batter. And as you can see, we're using Guinness as the star for this batter. So we've got our corn flour and a bit of baking soda in there. Add a little bit of the Guinness because you won't need too much for this. Give it a mix around. Now, depending on how thick you want the batter to be, can depend on how much flour you add. So I did add a little bit extra flour on this just to get it a little bit thicker. Now, I don't like my batter to be too thick on this. I find when you get too thick batter, it can be quite oily, quite... Uh, dense it can't it's not the nicest to be fair but give this a really good mix around pop it in the fridge for a little bit as well once you've done that just to let it settle a little bit uh, let it cool down come to a nice temperature um, and then eventually you will need to get it back out again and give it another little stir because some of it will settle a little bit and as you can see there are still little lumps in there but you'll get to, to whatever consistency you want it to be. But we've got our corn, a corn? Cauliflower in corn flour. Cauliflower in corn flour. Give it a mix so it's nicely coated. This will obviously help the batter mixture to stick to it. Um, but once you've done that, you obviously give it a good mix around. Bit of salt on there as well, I tend to find. Maybe not pepper at this point, but you can if you want. No harm done, but bit of salt now a lot of this salt will cook out in that um frying process um, because you tend to find that a lot of the percentage of salt is cooked out of it during the cooking process um, but effectively at this point you want to get your batter back out again give it another little mix because as you can see mine was quite runny on the top and it gets a bit stiff on the bottom because some of that corn flour settles but you effectively want to get it mixed back in again. Once you've done that, you can start placing some of that cauliflower in there. So it has a nice little coating of it. And again, like I say, you can make this as thicker coating or as thinner coating as you want. Uh, you don't want it too thin, otherwise it will just break apart. And what I like to do is just grab a little bit, check it's okay by popping one into the oil that we've got. So uh, obviously I had a little pan of oil on the go. Um, just to make sure it doesn't come apart at this point you know what I actually wanted it a little bit thicker so added a bit more extra corn flour um, gave that a good mix in as well just to thicken it up a bit more because at this point it was a little bit too thin but that's effectively the best way to test it is just try it a little bit in the little fryer you're using whether it's um, just a pan of oil on the hob like I had or whether it's an actual fryer just give it a test um, doesn't take very long to try that test and if it goes wrong that's fine no harm done because the batch of it isn't in there but once you're happy with the consistency of it chuck the lot in there get it coated get it near the fryer and get it frying basically but you can use all sorts of beer with this i chose guinness i think Guinness has a fantastic flavour to it, especially in cooking. And when it comes to frying, Guinness battered stuff is really, really good. Um, but once we are there, this is what we're left with. So we have our lovely, crispy Guinness battered cauliflower. So it's a nice, thin coating on it. It was so good. You could actually still taste that kind of bitterness from the Guinness. But give it a go yourself. Ta for watching. Take care.